Hey, 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 welcome back to Married in Minecraft. And yes, my voice is still really bad. And no, this is not the Divergent SP. Um, if you didn't see what happened last night, we had some issues. So, uh, since we had some issues last night, we're going to, uh, we're going to visit, uh, someplace we haven't been in a while. We're going to check on Mandalia, which is our home realm. And, uh, I apparently spawned in, in Charlottetown here in the farmer's house. But anyway, we're supposed to be doing Echonania. What's going on? How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Hopefully your stream went well. Hey, we're supposed to be doing a treadmill stream, so let me get the treadmill going here. Um, and again, I haven't been on the treadmill in about a week, so maybe we won't do... We'll do 2.5 miles an hour, and if we're smoking that, then we'll maybe move it up to 2.7, which is what we normally do. Um, so, hey, welcome in everybody that came in from... Uh, Echo Nania's stream. Oh wait, Echo Nania's on on YouTube. Cool. I thought she was coming in on uh, on Twitter on Twitch. I got so many I got so many platforms. I can't keep track of where I am. Uh, but speaking of where I am, it is it's nighttime. So I guess I'll go back in that dude's. Hey buddy. Um, oh wait, where'd he go? He's not here. Uh, okay, we got that player sleep percentage thing. So, uh, Bad Rabbit is on. So we will, we'll, we'll go see if we can get over to the headquarters building maybe, without getting killed. In case you're wondering, uh, your your audio is not messed up. I actually am sounding like this. Day off. Hey, gotta take those. Um, Are you coming up here to go to sleep? I am. Did you already get into bed? I'm going now. Okay. Well, I can get into bed here. I'm closer here than I am to there. Um. Okay. She's in the bed. Running and running. Why is that guy standing over there on the side of the house trying to get into a bed that's inside the house? Because they don't like where the doors are. They're not too bright. Well, I'm I think not... it has something to do with like the flowers and the bushes we put outside the door. They don't, um, they don't track to it. They don't path line to it. Eh. I think they're just not too bright. I don't have a, I don't have a, uh, a what you would call it on me, a shovel, or I would put a little path block right there. I don't know that that's an issue. He was standing over here trying to get in. Now, I do vaguely remember, so I'm trying to remember what we were doing uh, when I was here last, and it's been a while. Together. Cat Beanie says she's out for a walk, and CP Technocrat just came in from the Death Realm. Uh, so, welcome in. Saw you working over there. Glad you got the message from Bad Rabbit. I'd hate for you to do. You know, you do those big, huge, mongous builds, and I'd hate for you to grind for like three hours and then have it get rolled back. Uh, so we were like, "Oh no, we gotta let him know." I don't know if rolling it. Are, is she gonna roll it back? Because is that gonna fix the problem? I don't think that's gonna fix the problem. Uh, well, I think every there were significantly enough people that lost significantly enough stuff. What we were just was recommending was trying to roll it back but no I don't know that that's going to fix the problem because the problem is a Mojang problem it's uh, it's it's a bug so I, I don't I don't know I don't know what the answer is on that one I'm just gonna give you guys these seeds here because I don't need these seeds so you guys take them so I was trying to get all the farmers locked in this one area Wait a minute. So if it was a Mojang problem, wouldn't you be seeing that across the board of all realms? Because this is a realm. Um, it is, but I don't know if you know if it's if it's on this realm. So we'll find out if it's on this realm or not. Uh, I got all my netherite gear on. Let me take that mm. off. Good point. I have diamond gear on. 
let me go and take that off. Uh, since we are in the safety of the town, if Minecraft's gonna start trying to murder me here, then maybe I don't want to have my no. stuff on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and maybe I don't want to have my good, uh, my good, what should we call it, with me either. Do I have a armor box with space? Let's see. No space. Mm, wrong one. Yeah, me too. I don't have a whole lot of space in mine either. This is a rather mature world, so a lot of our stuff is kind of full. Minecart reels? Eh, I don't want to put it in that one. Let's just put this in the treasure box. You know, I put it in anyone, but... Mm. Not really given a choice. Yeah, I gotta find a box. I have one of your boxes in here. It says Shulker Box, Amethyst Shard, 12, Cartography Table. I'm just gonna put it down over here in the uh, in the headquarters building. That's I'm, fine. I'm missing I, I'm some just Shulkers take, too. I, just I think, took I, all I, mine. think I left some back there in uh, in the world we where we just were at the. Uh, we call at it 30 30,000 30, yeah it was at the uh, mansion at that mansion back there ah uh, yeah i got i got some stuff mix mix miskin missing okay i got a rock box and a sand box Armor. you probably brought that back here for me because i left it and then you left a bunch of stuff well i i probably didn't plan on staying here i was probably planning on going back because I know I didn't finish uh, I got a transfer box here Let's see what's in the transfer box I need one two three four five and then yeah I'm gonna have to take out the bamboo I'm not sure why I had the bamboo there to begin with we'll put this stuff up and Got some wood over here. I'll drop the bamboo in. Oh, I would need to get the bamboo out first so I could put it in there. Boom, boom, and boom. Drop this in here. Boom, and let's see. How much space does that give me? I could get rid of the bones. Unknown map. Mm, let's get rid of the rotten flesh. Oh, I have to put it in my inventory in order to get rid of it, duh. Okay, no, not that. Oh, shoot. All right. We'll get rid of that. Give me that fish back. I do need some food. Evidently, I lost a bow somewhere because I'm making two new bows. And I have a note block or a juke box. A note block. Why do I have a note block in my inventory? I... <laughs> I have no idea. Things that you wonder when you haven't been on a world in a while and you come back. Why do I have a note block in my inventory? Well, that what the probably heck was I doing with a note block? Because you were doing something with an LA? Uh, I, uh, okay. I don't know what that could have been, but okay. Let me see if I've got a backup diamond. I wanted to build, I wanted to get two alleys to um, pick up the torch flower and the pitcher pods from the um, guys. The, the sniffers? Sniffers, instead of doing a, a, a railroad collection. Cat says she's scared for when she gets back on the realm. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, as soon as you log in, take all your stuff off. Get naked as soon as you get in there. Uh, bare minimums, because if you want to have it, you'll lose it. As soon as you get in there, get naked. It's a, it's a free love, free love server. We're all walking around naked. 
Okay, now I've gotten rid of everything except for this doesn't have any enchantments on it diamond pickaxe that I made just in case I need something to do stuff with. I can always go make myself some stone tools. But hey, if you guys haven't been here to Mandalia, uh, let me show you around Charlottetown. This is uh, the first town that we found. Normally, uh, we call it uh, Charlottetown. And this is our headquarters building. Uh, we normally try to make the headquarters building uh, with a living space about 20 blocks up in the air so that these guys here don't claim our beds. Uh, normally we we don't even fill the building in but this one we filled in we actually put different floors on there and so there's different areas that we have uh, let's go let's just go on up the uh, that's our mailbox right there Sea town Postal Service um, what were these these were for uh, what's his name from the UK uh, Dumble Greg Dumble Greg that's it thank you all right, let's close this because we had these guys come in. This is a little smelting room for obviously smelting things. Uh, and then we put the ladder up to the, huh. This is a farming floor that has nothing growing on it. Uh, that floor we haven't purposed yet. This floor has, ooh. It's supposed to be a map room, wasn't it? Man, I need to go get my, all right, all right. Squirrel, squirrel. Uh, no, not in the headquarters building. Um, I thought it was supposed to be like a meeting area. Map room, meeting room. Uh, this is a couple of the residents. This is Finn's room. His beds have been taken out. Please take nothing, Finn. What does Finn have in his take nothing box? Uh huh. Okay. And this, and this chest too. <laughs> Uh, Finn's got a bunch of junk in his box. Uh, this, I think, is this is my grandson's. There was apartments downstairs at one point. Uh, in the basement? No, on the first floor, past the uh, smelters. Uh, oh, there, there were little, little yeah, there were little rooms for storage areas. Uh, now this is our bedroom here. Uh, this is the uh, this one of the CEO suites. Uh, please do not take anything from these trunks. I uh, got the little fireplace going in the background and uh, We have a little porch that we can come out and look out over Charlottetown Let's See if I can jump up without dying. I can't all right. So over here. We have this used to be the mayor's old office We'll go check that out and then they built the municipal building off of the mayor's place and we have uh, so you see there's a huge map area in there and then out that way a uh, little bridge going over to where the uh, the bad guys tend to hang out um, there's a little bay area here a little harbor we haven't turned this into uh, we probably should have made this into a nice harbor area for big boats because you can see it's protected uh, it's not open to the ocean so it'll be a lot calmer water in here uh, there's a turtle house over there that you can't see. We got the little swimming pool. Yeah, but which it's is closer to the outpost if you go that way. Yeah, but from a, a geographical perspective, you have it's a protected harbor because so if there's a storm out there, you got ocean big ocean swells or whatever. It'll be nice and calm in here because it's it's yeah, basically except for surrounded. there's pirates. Uh, there are pirates not far away, but you know we can. We could actually, that's a good idea. We could put something right there, a big tower right there, like a lighthouse that could both uh, guide ships into the harbor and protect against the pirates. It'd be a, a fighting lighthouse. Uh, we got some building material for us going on over here with oak and some mangrove. And over there, you can see that is the Snifferor Snifferarium. It was built by Bad Rabbit and Holy Mist and Dumble Greg. Uh, and we have some sniffers over there getting us uh, plants uh, right here. You can't see, but there's actually livestock in those pens right there. Horses in there. We got. You can see we've got a lot of sugar cane. We originally had a lot of sugar. We had sugar cane there. We had sugar cane there. We had sugar cane there, and we got a sugar cane factory over there uh, because we were trying to get all of our librarians 
set up and uh, selling the books that we want them to sell. That right there is the library. That was one of the first buildings that we built when we got here. And um, these buildings right here, like that building was an improved uh, structure from the original buildings here. I think that building was originally there and then Bad Rabbit extended it, putting that section back on there so we could have more people to uh, have a place to sleep. Um, going on, you can see we have the large, uh, what do you call those things, lightning rods, uh, because <laughs> we had an incident where a uh, librarian was turned into a witch, or actually about three or four librarians were turned into witches after a lightning strike. Uh, that is the farming area there with the farmhouse, the barn and the silo right next to it. And let's see, over here, closest to us, we have a Viking building that was put up by one of the members of the realm, um, and Bane. Hey gosh, what's his, what's his real username? Henrik. Henrik. Henrik has that that set up. It's a nice little Viking it's, it's spot It's Fenris. Here. Fenris. Uh, Fenris. Fenris Complex. He set that up in there. We'll, we could take a look in there. Uh, there's a little uh, greenhouse with a, a uh, lighthouse thing. What do you call those things? Oh, my gosh. My brain's not working. Buster Sharp says hi, everybody. Um, so that's the, uh, oh, my gosh. What do you call the link? Makes you go faster. It's a big light. Goes into the sky indefinitely forever and ever. Beacon. Beacon. That's it. We got some uh, bees over there, some bees over there. Over there we have the church. Over there we have the Harbor Master's Tower uh, and the Harbor Master's Office because there's a cut through to get around to the backside over here. Uh, so there is a little, air, that, that right there is a warehouse. Um, and we'll go check all this out. I'm just giving you the lay of the land. Over here we have, um, two factories that's factory number one and factory number two factory number one has a lot of industrial uh type jobs in there and it has a sugarcane factory and factory number two villagers don't go in there but it has melons so uh this is the unfished museum work in progress as we were getting things it'll be we a were work bringing in progress, them. progress forever exactly it'll be a work in progress forever uh, that's uh, all the stuff that you know we come across and want to put in there and have on display. Uh, we probably need to put a section in there for trims now that trims are a thing. We really haven't been on Mandalia much since trims came out because I'll be honest, I don't really care about the trims. Um, and across the river, we have uh, Holy Mist and Rocky Mender's place. Uh, they've got a little castle over there that they hang out at. And that's pretty much everything. Uh, we got did you finish the drawbridge? No, we did not. We had a, uh, a prototype built for the drawbridge, which is right there. And the idea is right out there. We want to be able to have that bridge have a section that goes up and down so big boats can come through there, which means we'd probably have to do it with that one as well. But. But that was the goal. We haven't, haven't, haven't built it yet. We do have a prototype down here that I think works. We just got to figure out how to apply it over there. It, it has to be functional, but it also has to look and make sense, which a lot of times Minecraft builds don't from some people. They build them and they meet the objective, but they don't really make sense when you look at it from the perspective of, you know, living with the, the thing. So. All right, where are you, dear? Because I'm going to get into bed. It bees nice. Okay. Are you uh, broadcasting? So yeah. You're down in the... Uh, all right, you're going to bring Bad Rabbit's video in. It's going to be down there in the right. By the way, we are at 0 0.76 miles so far. And I'm still able to talk. Uh, we like doing these little quick escapes. It's faster than going down the scaffolding. Uh, all right, let's check out... Fenris's place, the Viking headquarters. He's got, um, it's rather stoic. He has a, he has a very sparse 
uh, outfitting in here. So. Yeah, because he has his own base, right? Um, no, I don't think he made a separate base. I think he just was hanging out here. Max yeah. has his own base. Oh. Gigantic Smash. Yes, Smash has his own place. Always about those penthouse apartments. Yes, because we have to get away from the villagers so they don't. Uh, in fact, uh, Fenris had beds in here. He had about three beds in here. Uh, he had a huge bed. And so we had three villagers walking around that could not uh, could not go to bed. So we had to take his beds down because uh, he didn't go up high enough that they couldn't detect his bed. So I highly recommend that if you're going to be in a town, if you're going to hang out inside a town, either go up or go down. 20 blocks up or 20 blocks down. Oh, I forgot about this building here. I didn't talk about this one. I couldn't see it. Uh, this is Zed's Repair and Mending. There's a uh, scaffolding right there that goes down to a, uh, it's either a well, zombie at. or a skeleton spawner. I can't zombie. Remember. Zombie? Okay. All right, let's check out the uh, museum first. I haven't been in here in quite a while. Why is the front door open? So we have things escaping, like the axolotls escaped or beach uh, pond. What are you talking about? Axolotls escaped where? You talking At about the in the museum? Okay, uh -huh. yeah. So they were, I think they were despawning or dying or something. Let's go into the elevator here and go down. This is the floor she's talking about. Uh, this is the bottom floor of the aquarium. Now, the aquarium goes up all the way through all three floors. So you see we were trying to get a bunch of, uh, of different fish in there. We got a turtle in there. Got a bunch of aquatic growth in there. Uh, different uh, sea pickles and the stuff it grows on. And then over here, we were supposed to, oh look, they're still there. This was supposed to be the axolotl exhibit, but the axolotls were disappearing on us. Now we still have several in here, so that's good. They didn't disappear. And this was supposed to be the cell to put the guardians. And we haven't figured out how to get the guardians here yet. So that's still gonna be a challenge is to get guardians in here. Maybe we should move them a little further away from the other place. And we used to have a we used to have a squid in here called Squidward. Although I don't know if Squidward's still in there. We tried putting dolphins in here. That did not work out well because dolphins need air. And they couldn't figure out how to get up to the top to get air. And they died. So, not good. Hello, froggies. Um, I think they haven't, been, haven't figured out where to put them. This is Jumbo. Jumbo is... I'll be well, back. Don't want to be too close because Jumbo gets... Uh, Jumbo gets crumbled. See? That wasn't necessary, dude. Oh, shit. I'm glad you can't get out there. <laughs> All right, and this is Nostradamus. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're not getting out either. Uh, we got these guys here. Uh, I don't know. We do feed them. I don't know why they're so skinny. It uh, just, yeah, we'll move on. Okay. Uh, this guy, why is, there, why is there a hole open to the outside there? Uh, he's got a bow, so he's not going anywhere. We got this dude, Mr. Goldie Boots. Uh, and then we have the Grumpy Farmer with the pitchfork. And this, uh, this thing wearing diamond armor with an uh, iron sword and a creeper head. He's a zeeper. Here's his cousin, the regular... I want to give you a hug creeper and a uh, regular old plain old spider. I don't think we're going to get a cave spider in here because cave spiders just suck. Um, floor is supposed to have something on it, but we haven't, haven't finished it, obviously. I mean, who finishes projects in Minecraft, really? All right, that was the first floor. Second floor, we have a few more, few more things up here. This was supposed to be the the uh, parrot, chicken, and alley bay. Uh, we have the parrot and the alleys here. I don't know what happened to the chickens. They may have been eaten. Uh, pig and Zoglin were supposed to be in there. Sheep, goat, 
cows. A lot of love in this room. Uh, Four-legged beasts of burden. I guess we need a donkey to go in here. This probably needs to be a bigger pen. Uh, but this is the, you know, the livestock area over here. And as we move forward, we were gonna have some little biome-specific things like here's the uh, exhibit. So this is kind of like part museum, part zoo. Uh, so we got the little area here for the for the jungle with the panda, and then we got the fr uh, the froggies that are not here. Why why is there sculpt down here? This is for upstairs. What? Something something died here. Not good. A bunch of some things it looks like. Over here we got the camels. Uh, and they're enjoying their place. And I think that's it right now. We've got some more biome work to do. Lots of work to do. This was going to be the uh, blockorium or blockatorium or whatever where we had the different types of blocks. Hey, there's Squidward. A zooseum. That, that's a good name for it. The zooseum. Very good name for it. So we got uh, Squidward. I can't see his name tag, but we name tagged him so he wouldn't go away. Um, and then this is the area that we were hearing downstairs. I don't know why we have a corpse in here. Oh, because it comes from the nether. and This was supposed to be a nether display in this corner, but the nether display seems to have been taken over by the deep dark display. Which means something came in here and died for all this uh, sculpt to spread like this. Probably, w well sometimes when we get raids, we have pillagers that pop in here and they end up uh, getting killed over here trying to get out. Uh, so, I think there's only one more floor. We'll head on up. Yep, this is the roof floor, roof or top floor. Got a bunch of trees back here or tree examples. I think we're supposed to have one of each and I don't think we do. Oak, birch, acacia, uh, spruce. Dark oak. Yeah, we're missing some of the newer trees. We got the nether trees over here. And we got the shrooms. But we don't have the, uh, uh, the mangroves not in here. Um, all right, so this was, you know, we should have one of every flower here, which I don't think we do. Something's missing. I think it's two of the. I think it's two of the tulips that are missing. So Charlotte probably has these, and we just don't have them in here. So I'll let her know when she gets back. And so, you know, room to grow. We have lots of room here for more stuff. So if you guys have ideas of something that you think we should put in our new zooseum, why don't you drop it in the comments there, let us know. If you're watching this later, it's not live, and you can't put it in the chat room, you can definitely put it in the comments of the video. Uh, this is supposed to be the admin area over here, and eventually the goal was to build a dinosaur. Uh, and then we were going to have, you know, like take out some of the floors so it could be a, a two-story, you know, either a T-Rex or Brontosaurus or something like that. Um, yeah, haven't done that yet. Oof. All right, we are at 1.14 miles on the treadmill. And we'll swing over this way. This is kind of the industrial section of town. You can see Seatown Factory number two is doing, uh, need a statue to the great and powerful Amanchu. Uh, I think Amanchu would need to come and build that statue. <laughs> to the great and powerful himself. Boom. I think I'm just going to put the Lucy's back in here. Boom and boom. Now the problem is when we built this, Sea Town's kind of spread out. So if we're not over in this area where this chunk is loaded, the factory's kind of not producing. Because um, way over there on the other side where the big tower is, where the central headquarters is, doesn't load this chunk. Uh, it must be the end of the day. Everybody's leaving the factory, going home. This is factory number one, where most of the folks hang out. Now, for those that are lucky enough, they actually have a, uh, a living space in the back uh, for them, or unlucky enough, however you want to look at that. Uh, but you can see we got a lot of industrial jobs in here. 
And uh, upstairs is the sugarcane factory. And we put this in after we did all the fields. So we did all the fields first, and we're like, it just still isn't enough. So we worked on the factory. And of course, if we are, you know, again, standing around, it, uh, it gets enough. It, it puts out a lot if we're standing over here keeping it loaded. And where it drops out is in this area over here. So not too bad. This area was for when we were, we were working on getting discounts from our industrial guys. So we, uh, we barricaded the two doors on the left. And this door on the right was the only way in or out. So we put this little fence here so we could get a boat here and catch zombies in the boat catch them and then get them inside and it was a zombocalypse because here we're playing we're not on hard we're on regular medium whatever you want to call it so when you're not on hard there's a 50 50 chance that the zombification is just going to kill your uh villagers and that's what happened about 50 percent of them died <laughs> so <laughs> we're like all right well let's let's not try that again what are you doing in here? Get, you don't belong in here. Get, get, get out, get out. You don't belong in the church. We don't, this is, okay. If you don't, if you don't leave, something bad might happen. You're gonna turn into leather. Because murders never happened in church, right? That, that was not a murder. That was a pest removal service. Okay, so here's the uh, here's the church. Bad Rabbit hates the windows because the windows windows are supposed to be stained glass. And uh, we actually had little signs here. If you uh, came up with the color scheme, then that was your you donated that window. Donated by Mook Nation. That one I don't think had a, uh, if, or it doesn't have a sign. Someone donated it. I think that's Ella's. Uh, one over there she needs a sign there's some signs over here uh music mixer and brenna 33 came up with those so and of course you know here's the the front where the dude stands up and talks to everybody about hey get your life straight you guys they stop screwing around and uh in the back we had put a place where they could live down here but he didn't like that too much so we didn't uh we didn't keep that there's a little bed right there a lot of times he couldn't find out how to get it and this was here because we thought at one point in time that having lava would speed up the growth of these and we've since not uh i we, think it we, was a thing way back when and then it and then it just doesn't seem to be uh Cat says, good thing she's an atheist. She doesn't have to listen to people tell her to get her life right. Well, Cat, I'd say your life is right. You got 17 kids. You are going forth and procreating. Didn't Jeffrey Dahmer have a lot of kids? Uh, I didn't know Jeffrey Dahmer had any kids. I thought he ate them all. <laughs> Just checking to see what's in these boxes because I'm going to take these and I'm going to make some nether brick. All right. Let's see. We go out here and there was another room over here. I thought it was connected, but it's not. Oh, this one does have a bed in it and there are people in it, although they are not preachers. That's interesting. And believe it or not, this is a house that I'm standing on. This is the roof of a house. Is anybody in it? Well, no, because there's no beds. <laughs> Kat says, hey, I don't like that comparison but with Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> All right, there's supposed to be beds down here for the Harbor Master folks as well. Uh, their beds are also not here. Uh, and there's a tower up here. If you've noticed on the uh, the end screen, whenever we're about to raid out, there's a scene where I'm up in a tower. This is the tower. Uh, it's the Harbor Master's tower. So 
he can look out over the uh, over the ocean. The big boats coming in, they're going to hit that. That is a canal that we had to build, and let's go take a look at it. This is the way to get out onto the I don't know the wharf, the dock, loading area. And we put it over here. It's not protected. It's not in a harbor area, but it's got direct access to the ocean. So big boats could come straight in, unload, load, and go straight back out. This is my sheep boat. He's my he's my riding buddy. He keeps drowns from getting on me. Um, and we had we still have a problem with things coming in. So we tried to put these up, kind of as a deterrent. Uh, it hasn't really worked. They uh, they still try to get us, as you can see. Across the uh, across the canal there, there's several of them lining up trying to come get me. And I put my bow back, so I'm not going to go screwing with them. I don't know what that is over there. Every time I see that, someone was building uh, a something. I think it was supposed to be a kind of a lighthouse. Uh, and it looks pretty cool. It's made with netherrack. It kind of looks like it bubbled up out of the ocean. Um, okay, but that building over there... This is the customs office. Uh, do I have anything to put in here? I'm not gonna put the nether ward in there. I'll put some leaves in there. I don't know if it's working though. Wow, yep, it's working. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, Dumble Greg built that. It's pretty funny. Um, what's in this stuff here? Probably stuff that was confiscated from boats coming in, trying to bring in stuff they weren't supposed to bring into Charlottetown. Ouch, stupid berries. Uh, so this canal right here, we had to dig out so that, oh, hello, so the boats could come through. And this is a, uh, this is a warehouse. Uh, we don't have anything in the warehouse. Apparently there have been a lot of, a lot of outgoing shipments. So there's not really anything in here. Uh, ooh, I'm going to take one of these because I don't have one. And I get the feeling I'm going to need it real quick here. These, these guys come up on shore. But they haven't, so let's move on. Ooh, I need some, some planting to go on here. That's our sigil that was made for us by Dumble Greg, one of the members here on the Medallia s &P. It's a pretty cool little little banner and we were copying it and taking it to other places that we were doing so we're working our way outside the wall over to the snifferarium and we're at 1.53 miles right now with a 2.5 mile goal yeah, this was a pretty large build um oh look at that there's some seeds outside of the uh building yeah, so maybe we, is there an alley still at the, the well at Charlottetown? Uh, is there's, Willow still there? There's several alleys in the um, in the museum. We just need to go read up on how to, uh, who's green? Somebody has a lot of green, uh, a lot of green trunks here. I think that's Dumble Greg. Dumble Greg is green? Okay. All right, so if uh, I do have this note block, if you want me to drop it here. I would. I think it would be a good idea to have the alleys running around taking them up. Don't you? I think it's a good idea. I've not seen it done before, but it seems like they would be able to do it. Should work. All right, here's the big boys. Uh, I don't see anything laying around. Uh, so it's just kind of, you know, a big place for sniffers to hang out, talk to each other about politics and stuff going on in the uh, in the world. Uh, when there's going to be another raid, whether they do or don't like Charlottetown, you know, all that stuff. All right. Let's get back inside the wall. Uh, we'll go over by the turtle house. A Divergence t-shirt. Awesome. I have a Divergence sweatshirt in the uh, in the cart and I have to get with Bad Rabbit and find out what size she wants 
and then we'll both have matching Divergence S and P sweatshirts. So this area over here we set up is uh, obviously boar sugarcane, and I forgot what we. Oh, this was a little. This was a farm for frogs to get the orange frogs. But what's over there? Because this was bigger than. The, so what's this? And how do you get into it? What, what are you talking about? I'm out here in the desert, and there's a little frog building. And there's uh -huh. like an extension on the frog building. With that, a bed in it? Well, there's, there's no door in it. I don't know. It's just oh. a little room off to the side with a bed in it. Uh, well, there's no bed in it at all. It's just It's got a pool in it with a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of kelp in it. I guess someone was going to make more frogs and then decided against it. I don't know. No, it might be a kelp farm. Oh, it's a tiny kelp farm then. Hey, turtles and a baby turtle. Hmm. Dude, you need to get in the water because people are going to try to kill you. Um. <laughs> it's live action CP. All right, so we're gonna head over to the. Uh, I'm going somewhere else. Yes. I'm gonna go trade with the farmers or something. What are you trying to do? Put this uh bow together. Oh, so this is our turtle house. This is, I think, one of the first turtle houses we built here on the Divergence S&P. And uh, you can see behind me is an area for. <laughs> supposed to be an area for us to sleep in but it looks like it's an area for frogs <laughs> uh, but of course we got this so that they can get out once we've gotten 500 in here and we don't want them in here, in here anymore we let them out we got a little bit of water got uh, should be stuff to grow them up with in here uh, some of which we were putting over in the uh, in the aquarium and let's, let's see. see if the farmers have been sleeping. That was an issue before. What well, farmers? farmers weren't uh, resetting. Oh. Frog Drick? That's a good name for a frog. Hey, buddy, what's going on? How I you think doing? we named them after the Brady Bunch. We had Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Java, Java, Java. <laughs> Oh wait, that's Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Well, this was a little house that we built out of dirt one time. Uh, Cause over on Twitter, we talk about uh, the uh, National Association uh, for Home, uh, Homeless Education or National Education of Homes Alliance. And uh, we built this house to show folks how easy it is to make a home in Minecraft. Because a lot of times folks will not have someplace that they can safely live in real life but it's really easy for us to build a house here in minecraft you can even make it out of dirt but folks on the street don't always have it that easy so you should check out our twitter page our pin post over there on twitter can give you some information on how you can get involved and help deal with homelessness here in the united states there's a another organization that deals with it over in great britain uh, dan bull is the one who turned me on to that as kind of a Oh, look, he's got a trident. It's kind of a program. Did he drop it? He didn't drop it. All right. And this no. is over here. No. Do what? We have not reset. Get, 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 get. Get. I don't have my turtle helmet on, so I got to watch my bubbles. Wow. I won't be collecting any kelp. This over here is a big, a big kelp farm that we have. And you can see... The oh my goodness sign that was put up by Holy Mist when she was working on turtle helmets one time because it takes so long for turtle helmets to, or turtles to grow up to get the scute to make the turtle helmets. I think actually the, the lighthouse was supposed to go on this island. The lighthouse that never got built. So you see the, the big oh my goodness <laughs> was because of how long it takes uh, for stuff to go. So this is a, our larger kelp farm. It goes all the way back to there. 
Uh, and when it's, it's all full grown up, it takes several trips to harvest it. All right, heading back in on the, looks like I'm facing south. So I'm facing west now. So that means I'm coming in on the eastern side of the town. This was our first little kelp farm. It is just that, it is a little kelp farm. We realized we were gonna need a lot more than that because we didn't have a lava farm. Uh, so Some ADHD person's putting up a bamboo fencing. Yep, I need, like I need gates. Pieces. Yeah, I need gates and I also need to uh, be able to catch them all when they're uh, oh, that was you. at work. Yep, I'm gonna keep all the farmers in one spot so they're not uh, going all over town. So this is the office of the mayor. He's of course uh, misappropriated funds and has a very nice uh, red plush carpet. Uh, but in here, you've seen me do this on some other worlds. We try to put up some signs on tasks of things like that one. Capture, transport a guardian to the aquarium. A dolphin for the aquarium. Don't know that we're gonna be able to get that one unless we put him in his own separate pen where he has access to the water. Uh, one of each animal, one of each plant. By the way, we're missing some flowers in the museum, dear. You might want to check uh -oh, it out. I think there's happened? tulips. I don't know. I think there's tulips missing. Uh, the Dumble Glue Glue Factory we were going to put up near the racetrack because uh, they were making super fast horses, but the previous models had to be disposed of, so they were going to build a glue factory and make glue out of them. Uh, and that's going to be the. Uh, that is the racetrack. It is built, I think, mostly. Um, hotel outside of town we haven't built. Meat processing plant we haven't built. Beach resort haven't built. Um, amusement park we haven't built. So still lots of stuff to do here on the uh, Mandalore, or excuse me, the Mandalia server. And this was, again, this was the original mayor's office. They built the rest of the Department of Public Works off of the mayor's office and here is the map which kind of gives you an idea of the known world that we've explored uh, it's not complete there's lots of maps missing and you can see way down there is uh what is that that is uh hello freshville down here um let's see then there's a area out out east massive adobe area out there uh, we've got some little enclaves out there you see the green dots where we've been and settled in we also have a a um where is that here it is i think no that's loxo land we have one area where we have a a um an oil rig built out over the ocean and there's a double spawner at that oil rig so you see, we've been a lot of places here. Uh, sometimes we have an issue tying them together, like Arcadia. I think this is one of those after one of the new updates with the de with the uh, desert with the, uh, the ca camels. We kind of picked the picked the direction and we dug and dug and dug and dug and we popped our heads up uh, out of the nether and this is where we were. And then we got the camels and we brought them back through the nether. Uh, so, don't have a lot up here uh, on the second floor in the, uh, and I hate building, building really big builds that, I don't want to say they're useless. They may look good from the outside, but they're not functional. So I'm thinking if I'm going to build a big Department of Public Works, then there should be people in here working. So we've got some, uh, got some cartographers in here, obviously, because they make maps, but I don't have any guys for the second floor. And they have not been doing well with the pathfinding thing uh, to stuff on the second floor. We've only got one set of stairs here. If we put another set of stairs in, like right in the middle, maybe that would help. But these guys, these guys struggle with pathfinding. Um, all right, so that was, I think, the Department of Public Works building. Yep, this is the prototype of the drawbridge that we were working on. Music Mixer did a lot of, uh, a lot of the work on that. And I think that's it. That's everything that's on the surface here. Um, 
yeah, I think that's, I think that's everything on the surface. Oh, if I'm gonna, you know, we haven't died yet. Cross your fingers. Uh, probably jinxed myself by saying that. So I think at this point, let me go see if we've got any uh, less than stellar armor. I won't say crap armor, but let's see if we have any less yeah. than full strength diamond armor in the basement. We have a little storage area we were oh, setting up down here. The um. The, no, the armory? What do you call it whenever the, uh, the building all over above the, industrial the area? Oh, oh, that one. Okay. Protection 2. Wouldn't there be a bunch there? Well, there's a bunch in the basement. I'm just going to grab some of this stuff in the basement. Mm-hmm. Uh, curse of binding that's not coming off anytime soon right boom 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 and uh. boom you won't be able to get it off uh, it'll eventually come off <laughs> when I die let's see I need to just get some points and just put some of these things together I'm going up against guys with uh, arrows, mostly. I usually attack the skeletons and stuff, and, and knocking them away from you is usually not a good thing because then they just still shoot you, and you can't hit them. So I'm just going to take this one. It has, it's a smite sharpness one. It looks like it's about 60%. And there's a smite five that's about 80%. I'm going to take the smite five. I am going to drop off, uh, pretending you have any clue what's going on in this world. Well, that's okay, because I just did a, uh, I just did a tour, is all I did. I just took everybody around and showed them what we have done. This is a very old world. Um, let me drop this, and that, and this. Why do I have a lever? Where was that, um, talk about, oh, there it is. Thank you. Uh, oops. And I don't know, I want to keep this map and I don't want to lose it. So let's drop it there. Well, everything else is kind That's of weird stuff in here. Oh, in your box? Yeah. Let's see. So. Silly says he has no clue what's going on here. So short of doing the uh, the little promo, that, that's about all that's going on right here. And uh, Bat Rabbit's down in the bottom right corner of your screen. In case you're wondering why are we here in Mandalia instead of being over on Divergence, well, I'm not going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you to go check out YouTube or Twitch, and you will see... The video from last night, in which there may or may not have been a murderous villager in the uh, in the realm. Just gonna leave it at that. Are we ever playing a third in the Mandalia series? You know, if they make such a significant change that we have to abandon Mandalia like we did when we ban abandoned Mandalore Prime. We might, but that, that would be a decision for them. So we made this kind of outpost to kind of keep an eye on those guys over there and make sure that they honor their non-proliferation agreement because they're not supposed to be attacking Charlottetown. There was a treaty that was signed, and uh, the peacekeepers come and hang out over here just in case. But that doesn't stop all the other guys from coming around here. They, we don't have a treaty with them. Do we have any bows? Not good ones. And I only have 18 arrows on me. Uh, wait. Unbreaking one. Nope, that didn't really help. What? What do you mean? Bows? Yeah, because I'm just going to shoot these creepers that are out there. Uh, but... Oh. I just made my second bow. You want it? Do you not have a bow? No, no, I'm... Uh, I have a bow. It's in the. Uh, it, I put all that stuff up because I don't want to ha be have it on me, 
when I died, so I'm just making some crap bows, but I was hoping that there might be, you know, a good crap bow. Did I strike any deals with an evil demon that led to the curses and divergence? To my knowledge, I'm going to have to say no on that one. I don't um, know. Is it, he was in the end for quite some time. <laughs> we don't know what he was doing there. I was so. work, I was getting you shulker boxes is what I was doing. And there is no evil demon in the end. That would be, that'd be in the nether. Okay, maybe I'm too far away. Can't get my boat because that dude. Oh, look, there is somebody. Hey, guys. Just want to talk with you guys and make sure that, you know, everything's how it's supposed to be. What are you guys doing down here at night? What was that? Did you just shoot me? Oh, okay. It's like that, huh? to go through these boxes but all of them are full okay okay i just want it on the record you started it arrows give me some arrows is there a pitcher pod and a of the other uh plane do what flower up there you said there was flowers missing i was wondering if there was a pitcher pod and there the, are the not one. pitcher pods up there uh, and torch flowers there are not Sucks when you're reduced to trying to get arrows off of dead, dead, uh, dead skeletons. Dude, don't come over here. I want to mess with you. Oh, it's because the the tulip one. They haven't been. Um, the flower beds haven't been finished. Let me see. Eleven. The no, there was enough bed. for all the all sixteen of the original ones. We've made more since then. He tilled earth for those two. Um, what do you need? Poppy? Shoot him, shoot him. Not me, oh, shoot there's him. Poppy there. No, that's not a pop. Come on, come on, come on. I'll take it all for you. You may got jack on me. Come on, come on. Your mother smells like rotten flesh. Come on. Come on. Let's put you over here. Come on. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? It's almost like you can't move against the, against the water. What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, you guys can move against the water. Not good, not good, not good. <laughs> okay. Three, four. Okay. Three, okay. All right. You got me. I'm asking one. What the heck? Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay. Purple, red, blue. No, 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 no. He blew. I didn't die. Oof. Let's get something to eat. I'm going to check the status of my armor. Dandelion? To what, baby? I said dandelion. Wow. I'm sitting here looking at the flowers. I'm like, we're missing a flower. We're missing a flower. I couldn't figure out what it was. It was a dandelion. Oh. I know there was two tulips that we're missing. Aha. Oh, I got those. 
Well, that does not Where's sound good. The roof does not huh? sound good. Where's your boss? Where's your boss? Where's your boss? There's skulls up that? here. Huh. Run. Was a dandelion. It just was not in the right spot. Get away. I only had 11 shots. Time to go to a different location. Aww. God damn it. I can't get out. What the hell? Oh shit, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> How is he tearing me up so bad? Ah, I'm gonna die. Run! There's all my heads. I'm wondering what head am I missing? Creeper. Oh! <laughs> no! I was almost safe. And he got me. Alright. Punk. Let's go get my stuff. Didn't have anything really important. It's just the principle of the matter. All right, we're gonna take the land route. Gonna go out by Ellis Fishing Dock. Hook a left. Go past the, uh... oh, there's a doggy over here. Oh, Cat.Mini says Divergence has been reset. That's a pretty cool thing. What does reset mean? Uh, I think she means she rolled it back. But since she heard your question, I'm sure if she's got something else that's more specific than that, that she'll chime in in the chat room. Oh, this. Do I have a bucket? I don't even have a bucket. Let's put on this and that and that. This. Buckets in here? Oh. Down the steps. No water, Willis. For what? For the pitcher pot and the. And the, um, and the torch flower. We're at 2.57 miles and I think I wonder if, I'll, if we'll still die well like I said when you get in there get naked and then see well I guess it's a, a situation where we have to force the same situation that was last night right like no I mean we didn't do anything the last specific. time the last time it happened, there was a bunch of people on. This time it happened when there was a bunch of people on, right? Um, yes, last night there were a bunch of people on when when that weirdness was happening. That was something I noticed, Kat, that it seemed like, although we're supposed to be able to have 11 people to get up on the uh, realm at one time, the other time when I remember it happening was when we did the dragon fight, and there were about seven of us on the realm. And last night, there were about seven of us on the realm. So I don't know whether it's related to that or what. Let's see. I'm waiting for the dude to show up. But we have done 2.63 miles, and it doesn't look like the dude wants to show up. I was trying to talk to their captain and let him know that his people are being uh, really, really non-compliant with the treaty, uh, attacking me unprovoked for no reason. That was uncalled for. So we'll have a talk with him, and uh, we may have to discuss uh, re rewriting the treaty. But 
For those of you that came and dropped in on us today during lunch, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day, whether it's dinner time over there in the UK or lunchtime here in the US. I know you guys could be doing something else with your time, so thank you for spending it with us. We are going to go jump into our next meeting, or I'm going to go jump in my next meeting and try to get something to eat. And for those of you who are on Twitch, um, make sure you come back and check us out later this oh. evening. We may be on YouTube as well. Uh, but just stay tuned. The great way of knowing where we're going to be and what we're going to do is to drop us a follow over on Twitter. If you haven't done that yet, we're over there. And if you don't like Twitter, that's fine. You don't have to be on there for anything, any other reason other than us. So until next time, I want to thank you guys one last time for coming out. And we will catch you guys next time on Married in Minecraft. See you guys. Bye.